Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you complete reinforcement details of plinth beam section which is related to the uh, residential building which is of G plus 2 building structure. Okay. So, the plinth beam reinforcement values will be applicable for the G plus 2 building which is having M25 grade concrete and FE415 grade steel and uh, 200 value of SBC soil bearing capacity. So, initially I will show you the beam layout for that respective G plus 2 structural model. So, click on this PDF option. So, this is my plinth beam structural layout which is related to the beam layout diagram. So, this respected building was placed in uh, south facing direction as well as east facing direction. The 33 feet road will be exist in the east facing direction here and 33 feet road will be exist in the uh, south facing direction. So, for this respected building it will be consisting of approximately 47 feet in east facing direction. Again, it will be consisting of 71 feet 8 inches for the respect as site in south facing and north facing direction okay so this is the level for the respected beam sections which is of plinth beam section this is the pb1 which is having the dimensions of 9 inches cross 12 inches and this is also pb1 which is having the same dimensions 9 inches cross 12 inches again it will be consisting of the pb1 level pb1 level pb1 level so pb1 is nothing but the plinth beam cross section which is having the 9 inches cross 12 inches again it will be consisting of the pb2 level here which is of 6 inches cross 12 inches for this respected pb2 level okay so this is the uh, east facing typical floor plan it will be consisting of the hall area and this is the kitchen portion and this is the dining area this is the bedroom this is the bedroom and this is the bedroom and this is the uh, living area for this respected house okay so the staircases was provided toward this respected front facing direction for this respected level here okay which is having the dimensions is approximately equal to 6 feet cross 6 inches okay so this is the vertical dimensions which is approximately equal to 13 feet 7 inches okay so again it will be consisting of the level just i'm assuming here as a b c d in horizontal level again in the vertical direction i need to assume that is as one two three level here okay so if i want to locate any one of the respected level let us consider just i am locating this respected column if i want to select that respected level i need to confirm that respected level as 2b why because the column was placed in horizontal section which is of two number and which is having the vertical direction is B here. Okay. So, column C to B is the indication for this respected level. Okay. So, if for this respected typical floor plan, it will be consisting of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 number of the columns will be exist for this structure. Okay. So, now I will show you the uh, complete reinforcement details of the plinth beam level for the G plus 2 structural model. Okay. So, which is having the dimensions is approximately 13 feet 7 inches and 15 feet 1 inch in vertical direction again what horizontal direction will be consisting of 18 feet 11 feet 3 inches again 19 feet 1 inch and again it will be consisting of some of the distance here which is of 6 feet 6 inches here okay so click on the plinth beam section reinforcement details so this is the plinth beam level reinforcement details for this respective structure which is consisting of the level is a to d here again it will be consisting of the level is 1 here again it will be consisting of the level is 2 3 here okay so this respected notes will be indicated here on the right hand side section which is related to the m20 grade concrete mix again you can use this respected uh, reinforcement values for the m25 also concrete proportion to be strictly monitored at the site and uh, all the uh, concrete for the various components to be matched with uh, no manual mixing okay clear cover of the for the beam 25 mm and 20 mm for the slab okay top bars and extra bars on the top to be properly anchored into the columns or supports okay so development length tension will be 55 times the diameter of the bar uh, and in compression zone will be 45 times of the diameter of the bar okay fabrication steel to be checked by the consultant before the uh, concreting so plinth beam to be conducted with the first slide of staircase curing to be done continuously for the 15 days period any discrepancy should be uh, brought to notice of the consultant the drawing to be is, uh, studied in the conjunction with the architectural drawing side and bottom cover uh, blocks and compulsory for the plinth beam section okay so these are the some of the notes which is provided for this respective section so now i will explain you the complete reinforcement details for the plinth beam so for the a to d section which is related to this respected uh, a 
B, C, D, the same amount of the reinforcement values should be used. Okay. So, for the respective distance of your three, uh, 13 feet 7 inches, which is related to the PB1, which is of 9 inches cross 12 inches, the top section will be consisting of here is two bars of 16 mm dia, TMT steel bar is used at the top section reinforcement. Again, bottom section reinforcement is also consisting of two bars of TMT bar, which is related to the 16 mm diameter is used. Okay. For this respected uh, PB1. Okay. Again, for the PB1, which is of right hand side section for the respected 15 feet length. So, again, it will be consisting of 16 mm diameter bar, which is consisting of the two numbers at the top and which is consisting of uh, uh, two numbers of uh, 16 mm TMT bar at the bottom section reinforcement. Okay. So, for this respected beam length, which is consisting of 13 feet 7 inches plus 15 feet 0 inches, the stirrups will be used as uh, 8 mm bars with a 6 inches center to center distance throughout the length of this respected beam, which is from A to D, which is nothing but the vertical beam sections here. Okay. So, now I will explain you the what is the reinforcement to be taken for this respected one level, two level as well as three level. So, for the respected one level, the reinforcement value should be used for the length of the 18 feet is approximately two bars of 16 mm dia at the top reinforcement section for the length of this respected 18 feet. Again, for the bottom reinforcement section, it will be consisting of 3 bars of 16 mm dia TMT bar will be used at the bottom reinforcement section for the length of 12 feet 0 inches section here. Okay. Again, it will be consisting of the second section which is approximately consisting of 8 feet distance here for the respective beam number 2. So, which is having the top reinforcement section is approximately 2 bars of 16 mm diameter. Again, it will be consisting of the bottom reinforcement section of 2 bars of 12 mm diameter. Now, we can see here the reinforcement bars is decreasing here. Why? Because the loading distribution is less at the respected bottom section. That's why we are provided with less amount of the reinforcement values here. Okay. Again, it will be consisting of 3 bars of 16 mm dia at the top reinforcement section for the length of 19 feet 3 inches at the top section reinforcement section. Again, it will be consisting of the 3 bars of 16 mm diameter, which is of TMT bars, which is used at the bottom reinforcement section throughout the length of approximately 13 feet 3 inches for this respected one level. Okay. Again, I will explain you the complete reinforcement details for the two level and three level. Okay. So, this respected bottom diagram will be indicated your respected two level and three level bottom reinforcement section. So, it will be consisting of uh, 12, 18 feet 0 inches for this respected length and 11 feet 3 inches and 19 feet 3 inches here. Again, uh, cantilever uh, beam will be consisting of 6 feet 4 and of inches. So, for this respected length of the 18 feet, which is, which is consisting of approximately of 2 bars of 60 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section, again 3 bars of uh, 60 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section, which is same as one number. Again, it will be consisting of 2 bars of 60 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section, 2 bars of 12 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement, which is similar to that respected one number. Again, it will be consisting of 3 bars of 60 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section, 3 bars of 60 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section, which is of 13 feet 3 inches. So, for this respected section of the uh, cantilever beam, which is also used as 3 bars of 60 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section and which is consisting of uh, 3 bars of uh, 60 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section for this respected plinth level. Okay. So, this is the complete reinforcement details which is related to the plinth beam section which is having uh, G plus 2 building. So, if you have any queries about this respected video, please text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.